Well, this project is looking at uh, dietary effects to reduce methane in dairy cows. Um, everybody's aware of the, uh, the global warming effects of uh, greenhouse gases, uh, which include carbon dioxide and methane. And methane is particularly potent because it's about 25 times as effective as carbon dioxide in the greenhouse gas effect. And dairy cows, as all ruminants, produce quite large amounts of uh, methane each day. And this is a consequence of their digestive system. And unlike us, they've got a, a large forestomach, which we call a rumen. And in that rumen, they've got millions and billions of bugs, which digest down things such as fibre and convert non-protein into amino acids. And that's great because it, it means that cows can use feeds that we can't use and convert that into milk and meat. But a disadvantage is that, as a consequence, they also produce methane. Methane is bad for uh, the environment from a greenhouse gas point of view, but it's also bad from a farmer's uh, perspective as well, because it's energy that's lost that he would rather capture in terms of animal performance, whether it be growth or whether it, it be milk production. So we're looking in this study here at different uh, dietary means to reduce the methane production. These cows have got uh, different uh, feeds, different forages in these bins, and only certain cows can are allowed into certain bins, and they also get different concentrates um, as well. These cows look different in that on top of them you can see that they've got uh, a little backpack and that backpack has basically got a vacuum in it and that vacuum slowly takes a sample from the front of the cow. You can see on, on the harness in the front that it just takes a small gas sample continuously over a 24 hour period. So at the end of the 24 hour period we know accurately how much gas, how much methane that cow's uh, produced and from that subsample we can work out how much is produced over a 24 hour period and therefore the difference between the dietary treatments. The cows don't, uh, don't seem bothered at all. As you can see, they're eating perfectly well, they're ruminating, they lie down. It doesn't seem to affect them. It's just like strapping a, a rucksack onto their back uh, and it doesn't uh, uh, influence them in any other way. Uh, and they soon get used to it and uh, they, they look quite, quite happy with it on. They'll, they'll have these on for about five days uh, and we measure how much their uh, methane they're producing and then we change their diets and then we allow them to acclimatise to those diets and then we measure the methane production again. Well, what we're trying to do is to provide farmers with advice uh, so that they can reduce their uh, the carbon footprint or carbon hoof print, if you like, so that the, the cows that they feed will produce less and therefore uh, reduce the amount of environmental effect, but also increase uh, production as well. So it's, it's got a win-win benefit from the, from the farmer's point of view and from the environmental point of view. And should there ever be any uh, carbon taxes introduced, then this information would be important so farmers would know how to make forages, how to uh, feed them differently, how to supplement them differently to reduce the environmental impact of dairy cows.